Well, Valentine's Day makes people think of love, <laughs> and for many, it represents the start of the wedding planning season. Color 8 reporter Catherine McKnight took a walk down the aisles to help you become a bride on a budget, from the flowers to the DJs to your very big day. Catherine, I'm sure your experience was educational. Greg and Stella, I had maybe a little too much fun finding out ways to save money when tying the knot. And for all the lovebirds who said yes when he popped the question, listen up. A change in your relationship status is usually accompanied by less change in your pocket, especially when there's a wedding. But before you walk down the aisle, consider these money-saving tips. Instead of custom ordering invitations or centerpieces, try making them yourself. You can personalize everything that you're doing and it's a lot of fun to come in you know, with your girlfriends or your mom or your grandma and have the special little touches and have ideas um, that you never would have guessed before. Another part of the wedding that usually digs deep in your pocket is flowers. You can make it less expensive by, get this, renting the vases instead of buying. These two on either side are about half the cost of this one. There's one rose in there compared with nine roses in this. This is about a $40 centerpiece. This is about a $22 centerpiece. The vase rental is your highest cost in this. I'm sexy and I know it. And it's not a party without music. So when picking your special day, the day of the week makes a huge difference. Saturday is the most popular day, so DJs aren't necessarily going to work other days of the week. If you have a Wednesday, a Friday, or a Sunday wedding, you can usually negotiate a discount or an upgraded package. Places like David's Bridal carry schedules to keep your wedding planning on track, because if you wait until the last minute to book your florist or your DJ, you could end up overpaying. One more thing, don't forget to sit down with your partner and prioritize. Catherine McKnight, Color 8 News.